in such a long time, but it is time for a scrawler box. Let's see what's inside. I know what's in this, but I'm gonna be surprised anyway. <gasps> what I didn't know this! Oh my god, Casey Golden, you are amazing! Look at you! Ah, how did I miss this? I, 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 wow. Go, Casey! I love this artist, she's a YouTube artist. Obviously, I know she was just by seeing a corner of this picture. This is so exciting. Casey Golden, um, studying graphic design in Tennessee, moving to Canada, uh, decided to start a YouTube channel. Um, her videos are so fun. Her style is so fun. I love Casey Golden, and now I have a print of some of her art. That's so exciting. Oh my glob. I was not expecting that amount of joy in my heart for this. Um, watercolor paper, appropriate for Casey Golden. Very thick. Like, listen to that. And I'm um, assuming we have watercolor in here. Let's find out. Oh, I'm still shook. Okay. Yes. Okay, so I will admit I've kind of known the the Via um, watercolor sheets were coming because uh, Instagram and all of them have not been particularly sneaky about this being the art supply. I've been wanting to try these for ages. It's so cool that they're in here, and I'm so excited to play with it. We also have a sticker. And a nice dark watercolor. -y. I guess it's an ode to Inktober. I would see that. Um, a Milan six eleven six really pointy watercolor brush. Um, point five pencil. Very nice mechanical pencil. I've been needing a nice color pencil. Mechanical pencil. Please do not advance the lead beyond the pipe. Okay. And a oh, Windsor Newton. I'm assuming fine. Oh, that's a broad final. Look at the shape of that. That's cool looking. A Jolly Rancher. A watercolor postcard. That's so cute. So nice. And it's just a. Uh, uh, I'm sure we could actually watercolor on this postcard of the print. All right. Go over the challenge. The via color sheets. Let's see, hold on, September. Be inspired by this month's featured artist and get out in your magnifying glass and take a closer look at the kind of life forms around us. Focus on the busy, intricate details of creating a scene full of these little critters and imagine what they might be up to when you're not looking. Oh, Casey Golden and her ants. Make sure you swatch all the colors. So the Vivia color sheets are um, paper with the pigment in them. Let's see if I can open this up. Oh, it's got a little string to help you open it. Which way do I pull it? Do I pull it this way? That way? Or no, it's just a bookmark. It just happens to be poking through. I don't know. Hold on. Talking about, I didn't bite the plastic. Okay. These are cool. Yeah. So, 
This is by all means the most pocket size of pocket size watercolor sheets you can get. These are pigments put on there. The colors do not match what they look like here, so you need to swatch everything. So we start with crimson, deep pink, dusk, orange, and vermilion. Chrome, yellow, gold, ochre, burnt umber, burnt sienna, light green, sap green, viridian, peacock blue, Pers Persian blue, violet, magenta, slate black. And we've got a nice little card for some reason. Mixing panel. So this is my mixing panel. I mix my colors on. A website. All that cool stuff. Oh, I'm excited! Um, mechanical pencil. One click and a braking system. Oh, that's why we're not supposed to put the lead out. So, the lead is supposed to stay inside the sleeve so you don't constantly have a breaking of a mechanical pencil lead. Uh, neon brush, watercolor, matte finish, laser tootin' fine liner, laser tootin'. <laughs> uh, tapered steel sheathed nib. Okay. Oh, it's made from recycled materials. Cool. 300 DSM paper and feeling buggy. I am so excited. Let's do some Casey Golden art. Yes. Guys, I am so glad to be back to normal videos. I have so many video ideas and just not enough time. Um, and there's a lot of videos that I want to get out like sooner rather than later. Uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield just came out, and of course I'm excited about that. I, I want to say my two cents about the whole um, child-friendly content stuff going on on YouTube, and there's just a lot to do and a lot to say. Um, I felt like this week I really just need to get back to old school and do a Scrawler Box video. I have a pile up of Scrawler Boxes at this point from the time in Inktober, and well, I couldn't just at least let this one go by without showing you guys. I am a very big fan of Casey Golden, and she's probably why I've jumped into doing YouTube. Um, her stuff is cute, her stuff is simple, uh, not as simple to actually draw, I found out. Um, her little ants were surprisingly difficult to do. If you hear scratching noises, it's my cat trying to get in the room. Anyway, cats need attention too. Um, I found her little ant character, and he, she sees a bird. <laughs> I found her little ant. I found her little ant characters to be so Oh my god, what's wrong with you? I found her little ant characters incredibly hard to get consistent. I don't know how she has such strength with the ability to do straight lines and like perfectly curved lines, because I do not my ants look lumpy and weird and all of their heads are different shapes and consistency is not here. My heart goes out to her and like I didn't even draw that many ants. I do not see how she can do her ant drawings with like hundreds of these dudes. I just can't. I can't do it. Um, I had my guys hanging out on some D&D dice and there's some guys even playing some D&D. Um, I've been really into Critical Role lately, so it's what was on my mind. Yeah. Stuff. Words.
but yeah. Um, consistency? Hard. Uh, straight lines? Hard. Making them look like ants and not weird lumpy aliens? Incredibly hard. Um, when it comes to these color sheets, I found it hard to use their mixing paper. I didn't want to get a different palette because I wanted to try everything they had. And I found that the paint dried very quickly on the mixing palette because it was a piece of paper. And you really couldn't get too much mixing in, um, especially when it came to watering down the colors. Um, the colors are incredibly vivid and incredibly bright and honestly really fun to use. I actually do a second illustration with the colors so that way you guys can see that. Um, picking the colors you needed uh, wasn't that hard, I found. Um, having the labels of the colors in the bottom of the sheet they were attached to really made that easier. And I found myself not even like opening the whole book to get the color I needed, just kind of like peeking in, sticking the brush in and getting it. This brush I really, really enjoyed using. Um, it's soft, but it's got a very fine point, so you are able to get some smaller areas. Um, and I found it held a lot of water, uh, which was really nice because I didn't have to keep going back and wetting the brush very often. And just look, look how bright these colors are. They're nice. Um, I also found that the colors you were able to push for like long distances. So if you put down a high saturation, you were really able to make it color a large area. We had Payne's Gray, which everyone who knows Casey is the color she uses to color her ants. So that was simple, but it was also hard to get a flat wash of color in the ants. I think the color I painted the red ants was a little too orange. Um, I tried to add in a robber ant. I don't know what he's doing. Is he lounging? Is he being sexy? I don't know. Um, I honestly had a lot of trouble with this illustration. Like, I really enjoyed doing the dice, and I enjoyed doing the little ants who were actually playing D&D. Um, but after that, I was kind of stuck with what to do. Um, I also really like this fine liner. I've used it a lot um, since getting it in the box. I've used it for like a lot of things. So that's been nice. And this paper was great, except the fact that it tore. Now, I did do a second illustration because I wasn't really feeling uh, the first one. I didn't feel like I did a good job. I didn't feel like it looked nice. So I decided to do a fire ant but like a real one and these buggers I do not miss. They do not have fire ants in Sweden. They are everywhere in Texas. Um, whenever they bite you, it wells up almost like a zit and it gets like this head and it burns and it itches and it's awful. Um, it was a lot of fun just to go color by color in the palette, um, adding darker tones. I really wanted like a loose watercolory look with this guy. Um, looking at fire ants, they really are like this almost see-through reddy orange color. And when they bite onto you, they bite you with their pincers and then stab their butt into you. Uh, which is awful and sucks. Um, I hadn't done a loose watercolor painting like this in a while, and honestly I really like how this turned out. Um, I like how things aren't entirely complete. I like how it's just kind of splattery and the bright colors of the Vivia color sheet really, really, really uh, go good with this kind of look. I tried to add in just a little bit of pen. Not sure if it did anything, but I at least signed it. And uh, there you go. Thank you guys so much for coming and watching my Scrawler Box video, my very late Scrawler Box video today. Um, please do not forget to enter my 100 subscribers giveaway. It ends on December 1st. Just go to the video before this one and leave a comment and I'll let you know if you win. Alright, thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!